Hey guys, today I'm going to do a quick walkthrough on our adjustable end links on the Cyan FRS. For this video, I'll be using our 150mm end links. These are also included in our FRS Type 2 kit. The reason for doing so is to correct the sway bar angle as well as making sure the sway bar does not make any contact with any other suspension components. First, you want to make sure that both sides of the vehicle is off the ground. This would make sure that the sway bar is not preloaded with any tension from the opposite side. Once this has been done, you could start removing your OEM link. Once OEM end link has been removed, you could start installing your adjustable links. Now you'll start to tighten up your end link with a 17mm and a 6mm allen. Now that the end link has been installed, make sure that both top and bottom links are loose for free adjustment and reinstall your wheel. You will now drop the car to level ground. Now that the vehicle is on the ground, you reach over underneath the vehicle itself and adjust the end link body. You would turn the body itself clockwise or counterclockwise to adjust its length to be longer or shorter. Your goal here is to relieve tension on the sway bar itself and find its neutral preload. Once end link length has been set, you go ahead and lift up your vehicle, take off your wheels. You'll use a 14 millimeter and lock up the lock nuts on the end link itself. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about your end link adjustment, feel free to give us a call, email, or leave a comment below. Thank you.